Hello students, welcome to Sops's classes. Today we will be solving the CSIR UGC net questions from the June 2018 paper. We will be solving the set C of the Mathematical Sciences paper. Let's start off with question number 89. In question number 89, it has been said that which of the following statements are true? Option 1. A subring of an integral domain is an integral domain. Option 2. The subring of a unique factorization domain, UFD, is a UFD. And option 3. The subring of a principal ideal domain, PID, is a PID. And option 4, a subring of an Euclidean domain is an Euclidean domain. So these are the four options that we have been given. So let's start off with the question, solution. So now we know, we know that the set 0 is a subring, is a subring of any ring R. A subring of any ring R. So that implies we can also say that 0 is a subring of any ring of rational numbers. We now we also know that Q is a field. Q is a field. So therefore we can write now we know that if Q is a field that that implies that it is also an Euclidean domain. And that will imply that if it is an Euclidean domain that will imply that it is a principal ideal domain. And if it is a principal ideal domain, that will imply that this is a unique factorization domain, UFD. And if it is a UFD, then that will imply that it is an integral domain. This is what we know. And similarly, if something is not an integral domain, that will imply that it is not a unique factorization domain, UFD. And if it is not a UFD, then it will imply that this is not a PID. And if it is not a PID, that will imply that this is not an ED, Euclidean domain. And that will imply that this is not a field. Okay. So now, in statements 1, 2, and 3, it has been said that the subring of an integral domain is an integral domain. And also, it has been said that the subring of a unique factorization domain is a unique factorization domain. It has also been said that the subring of a principal ideal domain, PID, is a PID. And the subring of a Euclidean domain is a Euclidean domain. So basically the thing that here it has been said is that if we go through these statements, we'll get to know, we'll, we'll understand that they are basically implying that if we apply this, these four statements over here, then this will imply that Q, that Q is not a field that Q is not a field but this is not true that this is not true and that will imply us that will imply that all the options that we have suggested over that all options that have been given over here none of the statements are true none are true so this is the answer no option from the given statements is true so this is the answer so today we have solved question number 89 from the CSIR UGC net question paper of June 2018. We will be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos. Till then, keep watching Sopsus classes videos for more solutions and content. Thank you very much.